What's up guys? Welcome back to Hermacraft. We are on the well we're on the Hermacraft server. You know? That's usually that's usually where we are when I say we're on Hermacraft. So <laughs> um yeah guys, welcome back. We are continuing a standard LP. Um what I gotta do is I gotta take all this crap out of here. We're gonna work on the uh on the village a little more today. Uh, we're gonna chat about some things. So as most of you have probably seen, most of the guys are putting out their uh, their videos regarding you know, the status of the server and what's going on. I have to free up this inventory space. See, I thought we were gonna go do something and then we never go went and did it. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Pot on me. See, I only ever sneeze once or twice, maybe, maybe three times, but never more than that. I'm not obnoxious with it. Just kidding. Um, so yeah, we uh, I was I was anticipating doing something that never happened. So for right now, I got all the stuff on me that I don't quite need. Oh man, I missed that like double shift click thing where I put all the stuff up. I love that. We're actually gonna put all of the things that we thought we were gonna use up here for right now. Um, yeah. Is that my axe? My pickaxe? Yeah, yeah, it's my pickaxe. Get down here, boy. And gold pants. People, dude, okay, guys. Apparently, if you, uh, put a, a helmet on a mob, he won't burn in the daylight. I didn't know that. I don't understand how that blocks their entire body, but, yeah, we'll work with it. So I'm gonna keep this helmet around just in case I f come across another zombie villager. I'm gonna give it to him. Because he wants it. Um, but yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen, you know, all the Hermitcrafters' responses about what's going on with the server and, and what their plans are. So for right now, uh, it looks like people who, and, and this is not a complete list, this is rattling off the top of my head, and we're, you know, things are subject to change. People may change their minds at any point regarding anything. But so far, it looks like people who are going to stick around doing a standard uh, L, you know, vanilla LP are going to be me, Pungence, Biffa, uh, Corrales, Joe Hills, uh, bah, 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 bah. I know I'm forgetting people already, Red Eyes, I think, but here's the thing, pretty much everyone has said, and I, I'm, I know I'm already forgetting people who have said yes, they still, still want to continue, um, I think Hypno may join back in for a little bit um but even people who have said they you know don't want to record a vanilla lp anymore are still saying look you know we'll hop on the server to do some stuff you know if if we got something going on you know like if there's a they're just not going to like do the the grind anymore so to speak um like the grind of vanilla so that's pretty cool and i uh, I, I like that and i totally respect it and I think it's gonna, you know, in the end, work out for a stronger server because right now, these all these people who are busted and burnt out, just, you know, this look, server's vacant. Server's always vacant. Sometimes red eyes is on. <laughs> Actually, red eyes is on a lot. But um, yeah, you know, like there's there's gotta be some change there. And if this is the way it happens, then I'm glad for it. So let's. How do I make? I just broke all the stupid crafting tables, now I need one. Alright. Yeah. Hi-yo! No, what are you doing? Do this. Do this, you fool. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Boom. Hit it! I just combined two completely different songs. What I wanted to do here was figure out some way, and it's going to make it a little cramped in here, but I don't like having the redstone, like, visible right there, you know? It just doesn't look good. So what I think I'm going to do, how much cobble do I have? I need cobble stairs, and I need to lose all this crap. Cobble stairs, yeah, there we go. 
dude, this music, man, this is the music that reminds me of, like, that early Minecraft. That, like, awesome exploration. Like, here's the thing, as burnout as people are getting with vanilla Minecraft, every now and then, man, you get that feeling. That feeling, and it takes you back to when you were first playing, and everything's better. In those instants while you're thinking about it, everything is awesome. That's not like a furnace turning on. Because <laughs> um, the game is, it, it's a fan, you know, the game itself, when you, when you take some time and step back, it's still a fantastic, like, truly, truly awesome game. Um, it's just that, look, when you play something for long enough, you're going to get tired of it. You're going to. This is going to look stupid, right? Yeah, that looks bad. That looks bad. Maybe if we do it the other way around. Now, the thing is, I can't ride this corner. I can ride that corner. I just rode that corner. Oh, I'm riding corner, baby. Yeah, we're going to do this on the inside. I think I like it. So, guys. How's your day, bit? <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? Um, in case you have not seen... I Don't Starve LP. I'm playing Don't Starve. Highly, highly recommend you watch it. Not for the normal reasons you might expect. Because the game is so good. It's such a good game. And... We're not going to find any zombie villagers. Damn it. Um, it's such a good game. And... I'm in episode 3 already. It's not easy. I am like... Kind of on the verge of death already. <laughs> it's just hard because you have to watch out for so many things it's like the way it's the challenge that i think everyone feels vanilla minecraft should have you know it's just it's just difficult you have to constantly find new things and i don't know i think the game's a little more balanced because i don't know that you ever get to a point where you're like okay i'm set now like in this game, you very quickly point where like, oh yeah, I don't need anything ever, ever again. I have everything I could possibly need. But that game, man, it and it just messes with you so bad. I don't know if any of you ever played Eternal Darkness. Eternal Darkness was a game that was on uh, the GameCube. Nintendo system before the Wii. And this game was so good that the game company, or not the game companies, but the... Uh, the who am I trying to say? Um, oh yeah, like the the game review companies, like GameSpot and everything, had a buy Eternal Darkness campaign because it wasn't a massive seller, and they wanted everyone to play this thing. So they set up they set up like a thing on their website, trying to encourage people to buy the game because it was so good. Um, it was really cool because it took place across multiple time periods. Um, you played these characters who were... You played this girl who got an inheritance from her, uh, her grandfather. And you go... Or maybe she's just going to visit the grandfather or something. But you go to the house where he's staying and you find this book. And the book has all these stories in it, these chapters that have been written from people over like long periods of time, like as recent as the 40s, like 1940, and as long ago as like Roman periods, you know, like like you know, Greek and like you know, hundreds, thousands of years ago. So um, the 
the whole story is that <clears throat> there are these kind of like beings, these gods that control most of the things that are going on. This is stupid. Why is that there? I gotta fix this whole area. It's embarrassing. There are these gods that kind of just pretty much control everything. And uh, each story that you play is that character's attempt to either help or hinder their efforts. Um, so, like, the first story that you play as is this, I think it's a Roman soldier. And you play through his part of the game, and it's very cool. It's, you know, very, very period, very stylistic and everything. Um, and then when you get to the end, you find this artifact, and you have to make a choice. You have to choose what color. And the color that you choose there determines what the uh, evil god is going to be. And then you pit, you are automatically the corresponding color, so like red beats blue, blue beats green, green beats... I don't know, red beats green, it's like Pokemon. Red beats green, green beats blue, blue beats red. So, the whole game, every, every chapter of the game is a different time period. The combat's pretty cool, but... The actual, like, I wish any eye was here. Fill, fill that up for me. Um, the game has a sanity meter in it. And the sanity meter goes down when you see crazy things like monsters and, you know, haunted things, zombies, and all this crap coming at you. And. The sanity meter goes up when you brutally murder these things. <laughs> so, like, when you, uh, it's cool because it has this targeting mechanic. So, when you're hacking or shooting, you can target body parts and limbs of things. So, you can take out enemies' legs or take out, you know, aim for their heads. Some enemies aren't, you know, uh, vulnerable in their heads, so you gotta take it to a different area. So, like, you know, you have that aspect of it, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you have the sanity meter. So, when the sanity meter gets low, because you haven't brutally murdered anything in a while, the game starts to screw with you. And the game starts to screw with you in all these crazy ways. Like, sometimes you will play, you know, you'll go through five rooms of the game and then your character will shoot themselves in the head. And then it'll rewind in time to, you know, five rooms earlier and you actually never did any of that. It was just your character losing their mind. Or you'll be walking around and you'll start seeing walls bleeding or statues looking at you we're doing all sorts of crazy stuff like that um it also screws with you in ways that are not even part of the game like this one time when my sanity meter was low uh when, when i played games when i was little i played them uh in my dad's office because that's where like we had a tv downstairs that's where all my games were set up so he was he was an accountant and he was like doing his, doing like tax returns right so all of a sudden the volume i see like you know the volume thing on the screen and the volume starts decreasing and i'm like dad what are you doing and he wasn't doing anything it was the friggin sandy meter of the game turning the volume down oh wait i don't need this anymore yeah turning the volume of the game down to screw with me like that kind of stuff awesome um there's this it, just in case any of you decide to play it there's this one crazy crazy thing that happens with the sanity meter that it will not tell you about that looks good i actually like that a lot it did not uh, encroach too much on the uh, space either see something like this this is where my interior design skills fail me because now i got no idea what 
what to do with the rest of this. <laughs> no idea. That was good. I like that. That was a smart move. These torches being all mismatched are throwing me off. Nope, can't do that. Can't do that. Why does that look wrong? That looks right. It's weird. When that door's open, this looks mismatched. Weird. Um... So yeah, anyway, guys, if you, any of you, get a chance to play uh, Eternal Darkness, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to lay some torches out in a smarter pattern here, because this is just stupid. One, two, three, one, two, three. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Yes, yeah, that wasn't right. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there's gotta be like a midpoint here. So I did three there. I did four. What? Yes, I did the end point and then three and then the end point and then one, two. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. We'll just do that for right now. Which means over here I can actually line these torches up. This bugs the crap out of some people if torches aren't lined up. And I get it, man. Let's see if I did this right. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. I did it so right. So, so, so right. And then this guy... We're going to do... One, and then two, get rid of you, you're unnecessary. You are unnecessary. Good boy. Cool. The cool, one of the other, okay, I'm going to shut up about it after this. One of the other cool things about Eternal Darkness was the fact that, oh god, that flew. Um, after you played the game... It gave you a reason to play it two more times and choose a uh, choose a different path each time. The end of it was uh, very, very cool. All right, so we are doing pretty good here. Let's see, what's our time? Yeah, this might have to be a shorter one today. i got to get going to work soon. Um, let's see. Yeah, you know what? That's going to do it for today. I'll get you guys another episode soon. Um, I just wanted to get something out for you today because I got Feed the Beast up yesterday. Why can't I open the door? Oops. What's going on here? Dude, my whole mouse, my whole life just got ruined there for a second. <laughs> All right. This is shaping up, though, in here. It's not bad. We just got to fix this wall down here. Um, make that look not terrible. We'll be good. We actually... No, you know what? Let's do that right now because we got some bricks. We... Kind of have some bricks. I don't have too many bricks. All right, so this is gonna be. All the way out here. Oh, and then we need the dark wood up there. Yeah, for some reason I feel I think I wanted to go like blow out the wall this way, but I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> I don't want to. Cool. Bad, looking better already. Gotta fix that up. Let's do it. We're here. We're doing it. Don't put things off. My new motto. <laughs> it's my new motto that will last for the entirety of this episode. Or maybe not even that long. Sweet. Alright. Wait. Don't put things off. <laughs> Sweet. Wait. Nah, alright. 
I'm gonna get too carried away. That wall, that wall needs to get busted out further. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. It always helps us YouTubers out. We will be back later on. See you guys.